What's good, everybody? It's your boy D Brown, aka Bruce Deroy. I'm an artist, producer, photographer, and videographer. Here, I'm going to teach you a few things like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, FL Studios, and much, much more. So, click the link in the description or check out my website. But I love all women because when I'm in your city, I'm going to take one home just to baby me. Then I'm going to make a paparazzi make plays for me just to have a whole world so amazed at me. Okay. So before we get started, I have my model here, Phenomenal. She's an actress, model, as I just said, and she's also a singer. So make sure you go ahead and follow her. It will be in the description as well on her Instagram. What we're going to go over today is layers. Well, what is a layer? A layer is just something that's on top of something else. For us, it's pictures. So we have our background picture, which is at the bottom right corner. And the next thing you will have are a layer and another layer and another layer. And the whole purpose of a layer is to add things or edit pictures without damaging the original photo. It's very important because it's something that you'll use a lot in your photography, editing, Photoshop life. So it's located at the bottom right corner. It says create a new layer. It looks like a piece of paper with the corner cut off a bit. But if you click that, it creates a layer saying layer one. The first thing we're going to do just to show you all, this is something that I probably don't do very often, but we're going to add text to the layer. The whole purpose is so you all can see how this thing works. So we're going to type in hello world on top of our layer. Once we do that and click that check mark, then you're going to see it appears hello world at the bottom right corner above our background picture. You can move it around as you please just like we're doing there. And you can also hide it. That eyeball there that we just clicked, it hides the layer from you so you can actually see what it looks like without the layer, with the layer, and that comes in handy also. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that layer and try something else. So we're gonna go ahead and add the layer. Once we got rid of that text, we're gonna add another layer, layer one, back to what we were doing earlier. This time we're just gonna paint over it, something that you probably wouldn't do, but just to show you all for basic beginner purposes of what you can do with a layer, we're going to outline her with uh, black paint. Like I said, this is something that you probably wouldn't do. But hey, and once again, we hit it. You can see the black paint is gone. We're back to the original photo. So it just keeps you in perspective of what a layer is and what it does. We went ahead and got rid of that, and we're going to try one more thing that we actually do use in our life, duplicating the background layer. So if you right-click the background layer and click OK, you don't have to rename background copy to something else unless you want to. Now we have two of the same picture. You can go up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, or any other option. We'll just do Brightness and Contrast, and as you can tell, the picture is changing to whatever we adjust the contrast and brightness to. And if we hide that background copy that we just changed, you can see our original photo is still there. So it's just another way for you all to understand how layers work. So hopefully you learned something. Once again, it's Bruce D. Roy, a.k.a. D. Brown, and we'll be back again for another tutorial. You so dope. Uh, Better than a drink in my coat. Uh, More like to dream my smoke. Damn. If you want to rock this boat, then we can ride you out. You so dope. I'm going to get you in your zone. Uh, then we can be alone. Damn. Go ahead and kill your phone so we can ride.
y'all make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Because some funny, some fire stuff is on the way.